Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now in this video, I want to talk about uh, navigation techniques inside Maya and actually inside 3D. OK, we're going to talk about 3D coordinates, 3D space in, in this session, uh, because otherwise, um, if I just tell you that this kind of technique is specific in Maya, I will be lying. And now another thing is that that way you can actually understand what is going on. And if you open another application, you will have a better understanding of what the 3D world. And then if you later on switch to another uh, program, uh, you're going to find out that everything is exactly the same. So the first thing, as you can see, I am moving right now my camera. And that's something that you have to, to get. I am not moving the object. OK, this uh, I have a sphere here that we created in our last uh, in our previous uh, session. But this is just uh, a ball, all right, it's one sphere, and I am moving the camera. Now, if I want to move my object, I can do that. And now I am moving the object, all right? And this, um, that's something that we have to keep in mind. We can move ourselves inside this 3D space, and we can actually manipulate our objects inside this 3D space. So the first thing, we have three dimensions. I'm going to press four in order to uh, see all of this uh, i'm going to do something else i'm just going to click here i'm going to create a, a grid i'm going to change this object and probably i'm just going to go here click on my attribute editor then i'm going to go to polyplane and i'm going to change the number of subdivisions to one and one so that way i i can see better this kind of handles that I want to show you all these arrows with uh, colors. Now, I don't want you to do any of that right now. I just want you to, to see what I'm doing. And hopefully you're going to get an idea of what I'm trying to say. So the first thing is that we have three different colors. We have three different dimensions and we have three different coordinates. But all these kind of represent the same. As you can see, I have this kind of gizmo right now and I'm moving this uh, kind of wire that you can see here, the wireframe, that, that kind of uh, rectangle, rectangular shape. All right, that shape is actually a 3D object that um, right now I, I can see its texture. If I press 5, for example, you can see now uh, a red uh, area, and that represents the, the surface of this object. But I'm going to press 4 again because I don't want you to, to get distracted by, by all that. Now, the thing is, I have these three different colors. I have uh, a representation of these the, the three uh, different colors down here where you can see X, Y, and C. And that's what actually all these different things mean. Uh, we have X, Y, and Z, and they are related to you know the last uh, letters of the uh, A, B, C. And uh, we have actually inside the, the, the 3D graphics, we use something, other type of coordinates called U and, and V. OK, UVs. But for now, we're going to be focused on these three, X, Y and C, because they are actually the ones that will allow us to move inside this 3D space. And the first one is actually X. And if I place my cursor like that, my scene, you're going to see that I have the color red pointing to, well, we can say that it's pointing from my right to my left. OK, but it's coming in this direction only kind of horizontal direction. Now I have the other one pointing in color yellow right now, but the yellow color is only because that one was selected before. But don't worry right now. I can see that this green arrow is pointing up. And if I take the reference down here in this little gizmo, I can see that that color, the green one is called Y. And for me, I can say that Y is coming or pointing from the bottom uh, up. OK, so I can go up or down. And then if I click and drag this, I can actually move it that way. So that's uh, what we will be calling uh, X and Y. And you can see two different dim dimensions. We have this kind of an angle here between these two objects. But now if we try to, th that will be two different uh, dim dimensions. And I can move uh, left or right up and down. But now the other dimension we have here is actually the C axis or the C dimension. And I need to rotate a little bit so that you can see that I have another arrow pointing pointing that way. And now this one kind of allows me to go back and forward. Right? Imagine that uh, you obviously can't uh, place your hand right now inside your monitor. If you try to do that, your hand is going to crash with the monitor. 
but uh, we have that like that kind of uh, that kind of illusion when we use the three-dimensional object because we have the sensation of you know I can make it look like he's going uh, farther away or he's coming close to me and that's one of the main things of this uh, type of uh, 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 this the, the system of, of 3d so we have three different options and now and um, that's how we can actually represent these three different axes, these three different coordinates, these three different uh, spaces in, or dimensions. Now, I want now that we have an idea of what can we do with this, it's time to you know move inside this area. Now, if you want to move inside Maya, all you need to do is first of all go to the general tab here in this section of our uh, interface. Actually, I I didn't uh, talk about this uh, area in our previous movie but we're gonna be using it a lot so uh, I was just uh, trying to show you something else and then right now you can see we have shelves here and they're basically different tabs with different uh, type of graphics that you can click and use but for now we're gonna click on that one called general and here you're gonna see that we have different type of cameras so I can click in the first one which uh, is gonna give me the tumble tool now with the tumble tool, if, I, if you click in this one, now you can take that and you can rotate, all right? Your cursor is going to change a little bit and then you can see that kind of is giving you the hint of what are you going to be expecting. And now you can see how you can uh, move like that. Now I'm going to click in another object, in another tab. In this case, I'm going to call um, probably this pyramid, okay? And just because that will uh, give us a better representation of uh, that something is moving. And now uh, you can see that everything changes uh, to red is because I pressed five and that way uh, you, I can see better what, what I have in here. So now you can see you can rotate. That's perfectly fine. I really like it. Now let's go to general again and now let's change to our track move. If you press track now you can go up and down left and right and that's awesome because now I can uh, freely move and see where uh, my object is located. Imagine if we are outside of this space and if we don't have access to all these tools then it will be a, a pain okay so but thanks to these tools now we can come and you know rotate and uh, obviously you press this one the first one you can rotate then you have the option to move and then we have the option to uh, use the dolly tool and with the dolly I can go closer, I can go back or closer, you know, it's like moving my, my camera closer to the object or uh, going. Uh, I can get uh, farther away. Now the next one is called the zoom tool and this one, a lot of people think that is the same thing as the, uh, the, the dolly tool, but actually what is happening here is that your camera is actually not moving, okay? What you're moving is just the lenses. You are kind of using your zoom in your camera. That's uh, the, the kind of representation that we're getting here. If you want to place your camera close to your object, what you need to do is come and use the dolly tool, all right? So that's how we can get access to these objects. Now, another option that we have, and the one that I really recommend, is to use your keyboard. Inside Maya, we have the option of pressing the letter Alt, all right? Alt and if you press Alt and then click with your left mouse button you can call the rotate tool okay you can rotate your object and that's uh, awesome and so actually it's just like um, kind of clicking in the tumble tool okay you can tumble you can click and drag with the left mouse button now you need to have a tree button mouse please do that I have some of the students that they uh, sometimes are working and uh, later on uh, during the training they're like oh no I'm using only this one and that's why I can't uh, do some of the stuff or I can call this menu or things like that no you actually need uh, to have 3d uh, three buttons in your mouse please so with the middle mouse button you can actually call the track tool or you can move up and down left and right and then with the right mouse button you can actually call the dolly tool you can get closer or farther away from your objects all right and you can see how the 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 icons are kind of changing all the different uh, cursors if i press uh, left mouse button remember alt left mouse i have the rotate or tumble then i have the track if i press in the middle mouse or my wheel and I press that button, okay, uh, I'm not scrolling with the wheel, just pressing and that way will give me the, the move tool and then I have with the right mouse button I can get closer or farther away from these objects using my dolly tool.
Perfect. So I think that uh, this is going to uh, give you a, 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 a very good idea of how you can move inside Maya. Now, the other thing that I want you to know is that you can actually move your objects. And that's something really important because obviously if we don't move our objects, we're going to be like, what are we doing here? So if you want to move your objects, all you need to do is come to this bar, you know, in the left side of your screen, you're going to have this little bar and you have I'm going to say four main tools that I want you to get used to it right now because I'm, I'm thinking that obviously if you're watching this movie because you are um, uh, learning Maya from the beginning. So four of the main tools that you want to use all the time, all the times, they're called the selection tool, which is this little arrow, which allows you to select, first of all, the, the, the object that you want to move. In this case, I can click and select the grid that I have, this plane, okay? And I can click, uh, left click on the other object, in this case the pyramid, and then I can select the pyramid. And you can see how if I click in one or the other, they get highlighted with uh, this kind of uh, wireframe in green. And I can see exactly what is happening, which object I am selecting. With this tool, other thing you can do is click and drag. And that way you're going to have like uh, some, some type of uh, uh, marquee tool. And then you can drag and everything, whatever is inside this uh, rectangle is going to be selected. And now you can see that you have a wireframe in green and another one with white. And this is only because um, that way Maya can uh, let you know which one you are selecting first and which one are you selecting second. So the last one selected is going to have the green color and the first one is going to have the, the white color. Obviously, if you select only one, there's going to be only uh, the green color. All right. Perfect. So the selection is very important. Now the next uh, tool that we need to, to do to use is actually the move tool. And uh, one thing uh, before I, I move on, I want to uh, tell let you know that if you want to call this tool without coming and pressing this little arrow, what you should do is press the letter Q. Okay. For example, let's say that I have another tool selected right now and it's my move tool. But if I want to call my selection tool, I will press Q. OK, and that will give me my selection tool. Now, let's move on to the next one. And uh, we have other methods of selection, but uh, because of the amount of time we have for these movies, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to jump to the move tool. And now with the move tool, you can you, you can see now that we have our gizmo. Remember the one that I showed you at the beginning of this movie? So we have our three different arrows and that's perfect because that is going to let us know in which direction we want to move our object. And I'm going to move it, for example, in the uh, X, X axis, which is, uh, for example, I can say like the default settings in Maya are kind of like this. So I can say that I'm going to be moving that from left to right. OK, and that way I'm moving my pyramid, selecting the red arrow and moving. Now, when you select some of these gizmos, as you can see, I can click in the red one and becomes yellow. And the yellow means that that one is the one that is selected right now. If I select the green one, now I have access to my Y direction or my Y axis or my Y dimension, and then I can move up and down. OK, and that uh, color, the green color actually changes to um, yellow. And the last thing that I have is my Z axis where I can take it and now I can move it back and forward. And the same thing if I select now this other object, I can move it in Z and I can place it right here. I can move it up using my Y, my y axis or I can use my X and move it this, um, this way. Now another thing that you can do actually with this tool is that you can click on your object and you're going to see that there is like a kind of a square in the, in the middle, in the center of these three arrows. You click in there, you're going to get access to a, a free tool where you can actually move it around and place it anywhere you want. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind is that as I'm moving this object, I want you to see what is happening with the parameters at my right. Here where it says translate X, translate Y, translate Z, you can see that when I'm moving this, OK, all these parameters are changing and are giving me different values, different numbers. And that's what uh, actually is happening right now. I am moving and with these numbers, I know exactly where this object is located. And that's pretty cool because otherwise we will be like, OK, I know I'm moving this object, but if I want to place it right here at the at the center, well, it's going to be really hard to try and to, to come and place it right right there. So if um, I come to my pyramid and then I type this number here, for example, in the x axis, I want it in zero. 
I'm going to place it right there. Then I'm going to type in the Y axis 0 and that's going to place it down there and then I'm going to play uh, press 0 in the translate Z and that's going to move it exactly to the center. Now the center is not based on the center of this uh, bottom uh, polygon of my pyramid. It's uh, based on the pivot point of this object with, which means that this the center of this pyramid is the the point of gravity where I'm going to be moving or rotating my object. That's why that's the point that is getting to the center. Okay. Well, the next tool that we have is the rotation tool. And here, if I press this one, now you can see that I, my, my gizmo kind of changes to, a, to different circles or spheres, kind of. And we have the same type of colors. I can select the, the Z color, okay, and then you can see that I'm I'm rotating and the same this rotation value is coming from the center of this uh, pivot point that I just um, talked about and if you want you can actually move that pivot point but I'm going to show you that in a, a few minutes then I have the red and allows me to rotate like this okay I can rotate this object and then I have the green which allows me to rotate in another direction and then instead of having something in the center what I, what I have is this yellow circle that allows me to you know do this rotation and it's um, just kind of um, gives me more control depending of what uh, the, the position of my camera so just uh, keep that in mind practice with this tool is actually very easy to uh, uh, to understand once you ha you get the, the hang of it so if you want to call this tool all you need to do is press the letter E if you want to uh, call the, the move tool you can actually come and click on this move tool or you can press W okay remember Q selection W for moving E as Edward for rotation and then we have another one called the scale tool and you can press R as Robert and that, that way you will get this kind of a new uh, gizmo and with this handle now you have access to different cubes and these cubes obviously they only represent um, the different axes. If I want to scale this object in the y-axis, which which is the, the the green one, I can just come and can you see it's, it's growing, right? Then I can obviously take the x and that way it's going to move like that, and then z and I'm going to scale it like that. And the same thing. If you go to the parameters right here in the channel box editor, you can see you have the rotate, and I can change this value from 40 degrees to zero rotate 0 and Z and 0 0 0 when we're dealing with position we're moving by units okay one unit two units meters uh, centimeters inches whatever you want to call them that actually don't uh, really matter right now but the main point is that you want to, to switch and, and move in units then after that we have rotation degrees when we talk about rotation we, we, we're not going to talk about uh, centimeters or, or meters or kilometers we're going to actually talk about degrees okay so it's still units but different type of uh, measure measurement and then for, for scale we have kind of the same thing of a translation we can scale it by two we can shrink it if I place zero that's something you have to keep in mind if I place the scale in zero actually my object is kind of disappear because there's nothing in there so I really need to have something like 0.1 at least which is gonna give me um, a little object okay and I have my mini pyramid right there but obviously if I go and change that to 1 1 and 1 I have my big pyramid okay so I hope uh, this give you uh, a brief idea of how you can move and tweak your objects. Same thing in our main course of uh, Maja, we we spend uh, probably uh, two hours at least talking only about the the, the, the areas of uh, manipulation of objects, uh, because we have a, a lot of different options. We have. Um, and not only this uh, node, but we still need to understand what are the inputs, what are the pyramid, uh, pyramid uh, uh, shape in this case, or you know, you can come and change to different objects. And let me see if we have, uh, if we can actually take time and explain a little bit of all these uh, different parameters in our next chapter. And um, I don't, I don't know. I will see you in our next movie. Remember, this is a series of uh, training uh, movies that will show you all the main features inside Maya 2013. My name is Carlos Lara, and remember, uh, stay in touch in cardanofx.com. Uh,
and remember to subscribe uh, let your friends know and please tell me if uh, you don't like the, the videos let me know thank you very much i will see you later bye bye for now